Hey everyone. Uh, today we will talk about uh, driving continuous delivery trunk waste deployment strategy with Pipe City in large scale. So first of all, uh, let me introduce ourselves. So I'm Yoshiki Fujikane. Um, I work as software engineer from Cyber Agent, and currently we belong to the developer productivity teams, and I'm a member of Pipe CD team. Hello, my name is Ken, and uh, I'm from the same team with Fujigane. I'm software engineer, a cyber agent, and maintainer of Pipe CD project. So first of all, um, let me express my gratitude. So this announcement would not have been possible without the cooperation of Abema's backend teams. Thank you again. Okay, so for the agenda of our speak today, uh, first, we will talk a little bit about productivity and reliability. Second, we introduce the Pipe CD, a tool that realized the progressive delivery with GitOff. And lastly, we send use case the Changbai deployment with by CD. So first of all, uh, I would like to introduce a little bit about the ABEMA, our use case, our use case today. The ABEMA is service from our company, Cyberizen. ABEMA is famous video streaming service in Japan, and we handle various of content such as anime, drama, and sport. Um, we have, we, we are a leading traffic handling service in Japan. We serve around 30 million user activity and uh, for the development side, we have a backend engineer team with around 20, uh, with about 12, 20 member and, uh, we handle about 130 microservices of many guys. Uh, we still in the growing phase and the more productivity and the more reliability is the better for our growing as a service. So why productivity and reliability are important? Productivity is mean for delivering the new values, the new features, the new bug fix, new thing to user. Why reliability is for providing stable for existing thing that's serving user already. So it's not about productivity or reliability. We think that it has to be both. It has to be productivity and reliability. And we have to find a balance for them. So we think how we can actually answer productivity and reliability for our service, how we can actually balance them to ensure that our service growing good. We investigated and we realized that to achieving our required, we introduced chunk by deployments as the mean for ensure productivity and progressive delivery as the mean to ensure reliability. So for the Changbei deployment, it's a well-known deployment method. We developer must a small and frequent VR to update a core chunks or a main branch. This allow the significant reduce the time it takes to re to resolve the conflict between the revision from different release plan. Um, we all know that the resolve conflicting is not an easy work and it slowed out our team. Secondly, for the progressive deliveries, progressive delivery is about gradually rolling out the feature to the selected user. Developer and DevOps team can increase incrementally run out and deliver the new feature with file gain control to a small group of user to minimize the risk of pushing new feature to the production environments. And it's not just new feature, it's maybe new bug fix, new things, everything that we face in the daily software engineering. 
for the progressive deliveries, we have two well-known methods, which is canary deployment and boogie deployment. For the canary deployment, we have full control of how many percents of traffic could be due to the new feature and how many was still serving by the old workload. And for the canary, for the Bulgin deployment, we have kind of switching things between new and old workload. And it's not just like that. We need progressive deliveries, we need chunk by deployment, and also we need the bot for all of our service. It's kind of specific problem with our infra, but we have a requirement for the multi-platform. Our system consists of many different components, and we have several domains for multi-platform. For instance, API workload, we are using Kubernetes on the managed cloud like ZKE or EKS. And on the other hand, for the batch workload, we use serverless thing like AWS Lambda. We want to realize progressive deliveries for multi-platform. That's why we choose five CD. So a little bit more information about five CD. The five CD as it reason is the one CD for all application platform and operations. It's a read of style CD solution. Currently, it support deploy application to multi platform. Most of our using platform is supported by Pi CD, such as Kubernetes and AS Lambda ASI mentions. Next, Pi CD supports progressive deliveries in MICE, so that it's really easy to get in. Lastly, Pi CD is already a CNCF sandbox project. Now let's take a look at some actual use cases. We will explain trunk based deployment using Pipe CD after Bema. So we know the session title is trunk based deployment, but we also uh, mentioned previously that we need not only trunk based deployment, but also progressive delivery pattern to achieve our need for the previous three, uh, productivity and uh, reliability for our product. And gratefully, Pipe CD can help us achieve both. We will show you uh, right away. In Abema, uh, following trunk-based deployments, we separate the feature branch from the main branch. And we will work on this branch to keep the changes as small as possible. Additionally, uh, we speed up uh, development cycles by encouraging culture to review PR as a priority. Up to this point, uh, this is standard deployment uh, development that follows so-called trunk base. However, uh, Abema has taken another step to further improve deployment uh, development efficiency. And the point is to merge functions into dev and prods at the same time. Let's learn about this while looking at actual CICD uh, concreation diagrams. So this is Abema's CICD flow. Let's take a closer look at each step. Um, first, uh, create PR. So developers first make modification to branch based on the main branch and uh, create a PR here. And once created, CI will automatically commit the version fixes required for uh, PRD release. And this will cause dev and product development to begin when this PR is merged. Once the PRs are merged, CI creates artifact for uh, deployment to production. At this time, artifact information is notified to Pipe CD as an event. By adapting this ar architecture, CI and CD are rudely coupled. 
and each one does not need to know uh, authentication information. From here on, the behavior on the CD side, Pipe CD updates the application's manifest files based on the events it received. And this is a feature called Event Watcher of Pipe CD. When defining an application managed by Pipe CD, you can uh, define what behavior will occur in response to which event. And specifically, in response to a certain event, it is set to update the image name of the corresponding file and the commit. And this saves you the trouble of creating a fixed PR for your manifest version. And Pipe CD regularly checks for changes in the manifest. So after a certain period of time, it will detect the difference in and change and reflect them in each environment. The sync strategy is different from uh, different between dev and prod, so I will explain it next. So Pipe CD has two main sync strategies to choose from. One strategy is called quick sync. Uh, which simply uh, updates the differences to our application. Another strategy is called pipeline sync, and you can create your own pipeline by combining stages provided by Pipe CD. And Abema uh, mainly use pipeline sync to configure our pipeline that can achieve progressive delivery. Let's uh, take a look at Prodo and Dev Pipeline. At first, Prodo. Abema's production environment uses canary release. And first of all, we will release a few percent of the number of replicas as new version canaries. And next is the analysis phase. So check the error rate of canary for about 15 minutes and make sure that errors above a certain level don't occur. And this enables progressive delivery. And this feature implemented as standard in Pipe CD is called automated deployment analysis. Based on the metrics stored in Prometheus and DeadDoc, you can determine whether the corresponding version of the application is normal. And if an abnormality is det detected, you can automatically roll back to the previous version. And next, uh, if ADI determines that it is normal, uh, we will uh, change our application to the new version after obtaining the final approval of the person making the changes. So after all, uh, release is finished. So on the other hand, uh, in the dev environment, the first step is to roll everything out to the new version. And this is step environments, so there is no need to do canary strategy. After that, uh, we analyze it using ADA. And if there is a problem, we immediately roll back to the older version. So let's go back to the previous question. Why much to dev product? at the same time. So this is uh, because the read time during uh, deployment can be further shortened. I have illustrated the flow from the actual merge to the deployments of dev and product. While we are checking the operation in dev environment, 
uh, we are preparing to change the proto environment to a new version at any time. If we discover a problem with the proto at the time of ADA, it will automatically roll back and minimizing the impact on the production environment and uh, minimize the time to release. So ultimately, we have uh, recently been able to achieve uh, average 22 release per day. And this means that the members currently involved are releasing at least once a day. And furthermore, this is the result of checking the latest recording on the uh, 5CD console. We can confirm that uh, the development cycle is running at a very high pace. So currently we are implementing this for some projects, but we hope to expand the scope of applications in the future. So thank you so much. Thank you for listening. Thank you all for listening. Um, we have uh, official sites at PyCD.dev and a live demo at PyCD at play.pycd.dev. So everything is up online. Just give it a try. Thank you.